this is an another video of our language arts curriculum Shirley English Grammar Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, I am Alisa Bell and I am a homeschool mom to two ages six and seven. I think this is the third video that I made. A few people asked me about it. So Shirley English is a comprehensive language arts uh, program that focuses on teaching students the fundamentals of language skills. The program provides a structured and consistent approach to grammar, writing, spelling, and reading comprehension that is easy to follow and understand. One of the strengths of the Shirley English program is its emphasis on repetition, which helps to reinforce importance of concepts and build strong language skills. Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to classify these words with the question and answer flow. Yes, using the question and answer flow. Mm -hmm. So you already classified uh, sentence one and two. What's left is sentence three. Can you read it to our friends? The new community pool opens in June. The new community pool opens in June. What opens in June? Pool subject noun. Pool subject noun. What is being said about pool? Opens verb. So what is our verb question? What is being said about? Pool? What is being said about? Okay, good job. The word in is what? A preposition. In is a preposition. Good job. And it's P. P. Good job. In what? June. In June. Object of preposition. June is our object of the preposition. Perfect. Good job, OP. What kind of pool? Community. Adjective. Community. Is an adjective it describes right mm -hmm. how about new what kind of word is that it's an adjective too it describes the mm -hmm. pool which is our subject noun yes perfect and the word the what should we label it's a or for article a for what Article, article, adjective. Good job. Now we do the subject noun verb pattern one. Check. Yeah, we put S N verb. So you put S N for subject noun, V for verb, and P one for pattern one. Perfection. Okay. Now we have to find our prepositional phrase put it in a parenthesis in june in june so prepositional phrase will start at the preposition all the way to the object of the preposition perfect and what kind of sentence is this a a declarative sentence. It's a statement. What kind of punctuation do we use for declarative sentence? We use a period. We use a period. Now, you are going to divide the complete subject from the complete predicate by putting a forward slash. Okay. So, what is our complete subject? The new community pool. The new community pool. Mm -hmm. What is our complete predicate? Opens in June. Opens in June. Good job. Can you circle our simple subject? Pool. Good job. And circle our simple predicate. Opens. Good job! This part is called a skill builder check. You have already learned how to do a noun check with the subject of the sentence, right? Mm -hmm. Today, 
We are going to add a new noun job. Is it, do you think? I think it is the object of the preposition. Yes, the OP or object of the preposition is also a noun. But its job is not the subject, but it's the object object of the preposition we will learn to identify nouns in the object of the preposition job therefore to find nouns you will go to the words marked s n and what o p good job can you please circle all the nouns in our three sentences so there should be six there first noun is sailors Good job. Is OP. Third one is water. And the fourth one is pipe. Fifth one is pool. And the sixth one is June. June. So you have three subject nouns. And three object of the preposition. Now we have to identify our nouns if it's singular or plural or common or proper. Let's start with our sentence one. Is sailors singular or plural? It is plural. Plural. Is it common or a proper noun? Common. Common. How about months? Months is plural and it is proper. Nope. Actually, common. Common, good job. Yeah, months is plural and it's a common noun. But what if it's a name of a month? It's is it a proper noun or a common noun? Like well, June. It, well, in that case, it would be proper. Is water singular or plural? Water is singular. Singular. Is it common or proper? It is common. Common. How about pipe? Well, pipe is singular and is common. Good job. How about pool? Pool is singular and common. Perfection, and we already know that June. June is singular, and it is, of course, a proper noun. Surely, English uses a variety of activities like jingles. They have these jingles for the parts of speech, like uh, sentence, sentence, sentence is complete, 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 and and so on. Through jingles, it's very easy for my children to. Uh, memorize or it's very easy to absorb the meaning for example let's say what is a complete sentence or what is an adverb or what is a verb what is an adjective through the jingle uh, it's easy to understand so before we start the class uh, we will play the CD uh, whatever part of speech we're learning on that day or uh, on that week we'll play that and we will we'll do some actions uh, so it will it is entertaining uh, not only you are learning it's also is entertaining there's worksheets of course and yeah i mentioned the jingles and there's also games but we never do the game it's the state game because we don't do that because we are learning the states in our geography class so we eliminate that another advantage of shirley english is it provides a clear and systematic introduction to the different aspects of language arts this will allow the students to build their knowledge and skills gradually not not in a all of a sudden they will learn it like little by little every day you'll learn this surely english is divided into 31 weeks but you really don't have to follow that as i mentioned earlier uh, we homeschool year-round and we really don't rush so there are 27 chapters every chapter has five lessons lesson one and lesson two has vocabulary words uh 
two sets of vocabulary words. On the third day, it's the skill builder time. Your children will learn how to compose their own paragraph. Uh, they have this two-point expository paragraph. And then the fourth day is a quiz. But I don't follow that. Uh, I put the day four or the quiz on the fifth day. So on Fridays, we do quiz. Day one and day two has vocabulary words. Day three is the writing. They are going to write a paragraph. Day four is quiz. And then day five, they will finish whatever they didn't finish on day three. But of course, it's always up to you how, how you do it, right? It's just there as your guide. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye! Solid day of Gloria. Thank you for watching. Bye!